Hi everyone, it's me Tammy and I'm here with my beauty product favorites for the year of 2012. I wasn't going to do this because I felt like this might be a recap of everything that I spoke about in all my other monthly favorites and it kind of is. But you know what, there are some people that are new and don't know what products I love so I decided what the hell, why not? So I'm just going to jump right in. I will begin with skincare because I think skincare is extremely important. Um, and one of my favorite, favorite, favorite cleansers, I've been using it since I was in high school, which was a long time ago, um, is this Neutrogena Cleanser and Mask. And the active ingredient in it is benzoyl peroxide. I love this. I use this when my skin feels just really grimy and dirty or if I have breakouts. This does a great, great job. Or if I have a monster pimple, I will put a little bit of this on the pimple and sleep with it. Sexy, I know. Sexy. Next item is by Basha. I think that's how you say it. It is a cleansing oil. Just so you know, cleansing oils are perfectly fine to use if you have oily skin like myself. It is great to remove your makeup. You apply a pump or two to dry hands and a dry face. Rub it all over, it dissolves your makeup, rinse it off, then if you'd like, use your normal soap to just cleanse your face because this just removes your makeup. It's not actually cleansing your face. I love it. My mascara, everything is gone in just a few swipes and I've had this bottle, I've had this bottle for a while now and it's, I've still got, I would say probably a month and a half, maybe two months left out of this, so good stuff. And it doesn't make me break out at all at all. My last little skincare or face skincare item is by Clinique and it is their eye cream. It is called All About Eyes. It reduces circles and puffs. I don't really know about circles. I feel like I just naturally have dark circles so I don't know if there's one product that'll eliminate that for me but puffy eyes this does the trick. I naturally have just a lot of puffiness under my eyes. I have allergies and I don't sleep a lot and it's hereditary. This really, really reduces the puffiness under my eyes, which I can't ask for anything better. I feel like it is pricey. It's about 28 bucks, but it lasts me about six months and it does the job. So for me, it's worth the price. Absolutely worth the price. And while we're talking about lotions, I might as well let you guys know about the one, just one, one lotion I have, and this is actually a recent favorite, but I know I'm going to be using it for a very long time. It is the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter, and my favorite part about this, ooh, it's flip top. No more trying to figure out how to open and close this with some greasy hands. Now this body butter smells like heaven, and it really hydrates your skin, leaving behind a nice coconutty fragrance on your skin and I love coconut so yay okay I have all the items over here so for my favorite shampoo and conditioner definitely suave anti-dandruff coconut shampoo and conditioner favorites absolute favorites I don't know where the heck they are right now but they are my favorites but I'm trying to be good and like use up products all in one instead of I like to rotate a lot <laughs> trying to get out of that habit so I can actually finish some products. So those are my favorites. These are also favorites. Another Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo and Conditioner. I've spoken about these before. They are great if you have dandruff, great if you have an oily scalp. They are fantastic if your hair is wavy or curly because they are sulfate free and paraben free. They have peppermint, tea tree, and eucalyptus botanicals in them. It makes your scalp all tingly and clean and super shiny. Super, super shiny. Okay. While we're still on hair, I love this Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. This is so, so good for me to, like, bring out the waves in my hair. I know some people don't like it because it has some parabens and some bad stuff in it, but my hair really likes this. Plus, it smells like downy. <sighs> okay. Now, if you just watched my December favorites video, you saw this item. I wasn't going to include it because I just started using it, but I have to because 
I just have to. It is Goddess Curls and the brand is Curls. And this is such a great anti-frizz gel and it gives you a really light hold in your hair without making it hard or crunchy and no residue. No, no residue at all. So it's great for like sleek updos. You just have to use a little bit. It's not good for hard hold, but if you're looking for flyaways to go down and for your frizz to go away, highly recommend this. It's like four bucks at Target. Okay, on to the makeup. I know, I'm speaking super fast. I just have so much to go through. Okay, favorite, favorite, favorite eye products, of course, are these Tarte pencils. You guys know I love these. They're waterproof shadow sticks, all of the colors, and they're smolder eyes, eyeliners, all of the colors. I'll put links below where I have swatches. These are the bomb, bomb, bomb. Amazing. Just amazing. While we're still on eyes, you guys know what's coming. You know, bum, 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 the Lorac Pro Palette. Love, love, love this. Love, love, love it. I have a whole video dedicated to my love for this palette. Amazing. Amazing. If you only have one eyeshadow palette, it should be this one. Seriously. Not kidding. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Mascaras. Spoken about both of these before. Prestige, my blackish lash. And Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I think I've done a whole video on this one. I'm not sure. It's kind of expensive because it's Tarte. But it does a really, really good job of volumizing your lashes and holding the curl all day. This one does the same thing for $6.50. Um, this one is more dramatic, in my opinion. It's super, super black, so it's just so noticeable um, and wet. It takes some time to dry, but I really like this. I feel like I can really build this better than I can build this, but I love them both very, very much. Probably love this a little bit more because of the price tag. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay. Now, moving on to the rest of the face. My favorite, favorite primer is by Mally. I've done a video on this too. Mally Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. This is an amazing primer. So, so good. And it's just a... I'm trying to think. It's like a silky texture in a compact. And you can use this before or after your makeup. It does a great job of mattifying and setting your makeup. So, highly recommend that. I mean, it's kind of drastic, the difference. My two favorite cheek products for the year are by Tarte. Any of the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes, love them. Love them all. This is probably the one I reach for the most. This is in Peaceful. It's just a really natural blush. And bronzer, of course. I've been using this one for years. NYC Sunny Matte Bronzer. Absolutely no shimmer. It is fantastic if you have a foundation that is just too light. You can use that to darken things up. Or if you just like to use bronzer. And on to eyeliners. My two favorite eyeliners of the year. Both quite pricey, but I love them. Urban Decay 24-7 Perversion and Tarte in Onyx. They are both very, very similar. Both do the same job, last forever, super, super dark, great on your waterline. They're not gonna go anywhere. Nice and easy to smudge. I mean, these are just fantastic pencils. Like, fantastic. Okay, boop, boop, boop. I just have a few more things. Okay, lip products. My favorite, favorite lip products by EOS. I love these bombs. My favorite one right now, and it changes all the time, is this orange one. It is their, I think it's their, like, medicated balm. Yeah, medicated balm and tangerine. Now, a word to the wise, these EOS balms, they don't seem to be that good in the beginning for me. I feel like the waxy film takes a bit to rub off, and then you get the true flavor of the lip balm, and then it's like, oh, it's awesome. Seriously, awesome. Okay, so my favorite other lip products. Revlon Balm Stays. I love these things. I have four of them. I think I had a few more, but I just keep losing these things. Um, absolutely favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. My favorite one is Lovesick, which I think 
is the one in the display with Emma Stone. She's gorgeous. Isn't she gorgeous? Seriously, she's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, these balm stays, they are so good to me. They are like the Tarte stains, but cheaper. I like cheaper. <laughs> so, um, they leave a nice stain on your lips, but with a slight hint of gloss. And it's nice because they really do have that balm texture, so they're not drying, even though they stay on your lips for a long time. So, love these. And, of course, my favorite, like, cheapy, cheapy, cheapy lipsticks are by Wet n Wild. And I've spoken about these guys, too. They are the... There's no name on them. I think they're called the Mega Last lipsticks. I have three of them. I lose these. I don't know why or how, but I lose these like crazy. But I absolutely love them. They are a drier texture, but they do last a long, long, long time. And they're really, really pigmented. So if you're in the market for a new pigmented lipstick, highly recommend these. And they're only like $2. So I feel like you should just buy the whole darn thing. <laughs> okay. And my favorite, favorite brush for the entire year has been this Sigma Kabuki brush. They did not send this to me. I actually won it as a gift or a prize, sorry, from another blogger and I love this. It is the F80 Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki. I use it all the time. This is the one brush that I use every single day. I use it to apply my powders and to apply my foundation. Basically foundation. This stuff is just awesome. Never any streaks. This thing does not shed. And it buffs things out so naturally. It looks really, really like it's your skin, but better. <laughs> okay, so those are my favorites of the whole year. I know that was a lot. I know I went fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's all for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.